In this video, we are going to calculate energy and power of an exponential signal. So, see the problem here, check energy and power of e power minus a t u of t. This model will cover all exponential, negative exponential multiplied with u of t. That means, so e power minus 10 t u of t, e power minus 20 t u of t, e power minus 30 t u of t. For each and every negative power exponential multiplied with unit step, for that you can apply this formula. So, you can consider this as a gate shortcut. The result of this problem you can consider like a gate shortcut to answer the questions related to the uh, energy and power of exponential signal. Now, consider uh, the signal first of all, you know how to sketch e power minus 10 t u of t. So, we already sketched so many signals like e power minus a t u of t, e power plus a t u of t and e power a t u of minus t, e power minus a t uh, u of minus t like that so many signals up to now we sketched. So, now you will see the structure of e power minus a t u of t. So, as you know that your exponential signal with a negative power is a decaying exponential that means it will be like the so, it is starting at negative x axis, it started at negative x axis and uh, it is going to end at plus infinity. So, now you know the uh, structure of u of t that means, so your unit step signal will be like this. So, if this is the unit step signal, if this is the unit step signal u of t and if this is e power minus a t, so the multiplication of these two signals will be like this. So, as you are having unit step value only at positive x axis, then whatever the signal we are having in exponential in the positive x axis that will come as resultant signal. That means, the shape of e power minus a t u of t will be like this. That means, it will start at 0 and ends at infinity. Whatever it may be, why I consider this resultant signal shape means to observe whether the signal is finite or infinite. By observing the shape of the signal, you can say, so this is a infinite duration signals which cover infinity. That means, this is not going to end, this is an uh, infinite duration started from 0. Now, to calculate energy or power for a uh, infinite duration signal, the formulas are I want to calculate energy first as we do not know whether that is energy or power signals for first we need to calculate energy or power. So, I wanted to calculate energy first. So, energy is equal to integral limit t tending to infinity minus t to t. So, x square of t dt this is the formula to calculate energy of a signal. So, now here this is equal to limit t tending to infinity. So, integral minus t 2 t in place of minus t 2 t, I am just going to write, I am going to change my lower limit. So, why because? So, here my signal started from 0. So, I want to change my lower limit and I am not going to change my upper limit. Why? Because I apply limit t tending to infinity here. So, 0 to t x square of t means, so whatever the signal here we are having that is the definition of signal is e power minus a t u of t. So, e power minus a t u of t, so whole square. So, here u of t is nothing but this is 0 to t, u of t value is equivalent to 1. No need to consider that u of t here, why because that is equal, if you considered also that is equivalent to 1. So, now this integration is equivalent to limit t tending to infinity 0 to t e power minus a t whole square dt. Now, you can see whenever you are having e power minus a t whole square, do not write like, uh, write like e power a t square or e power a square t square, you cannot write like that. Whenever you are having e power a whole power b, you can say that is e power a into b. So, now like that I am going to write, so limit t tending to infinity, so integral 0 to t and here you can write that as e power 2 a t dt. So, this is the value resulting e power minus a t whole square. This 2 is going to multiply here, not going to square on that power. So, now 
here this is equivalent to integral e power minus a t or e power plus a t is nothing but e power a t by a you need to consider. So, the integral value I am going to substitute t tending to infinity integral of e power minus 2 a t value is 2 a t divided by minus 2 a and I need to substitute my limits 0 to t here. So, if I substituted my upper limit then I am going to get t tending to infinity. So, here you are going to get e power minus 2 a capital T by minus 2 a minus. So, here if you apply lower limit e power 0 by minus 2 a. So, now you can see so here if you applied t power minus infinity what will happen wherever you are having capital T there if you apply t power minus infinity what will happens means so this will become e power minus infinity by minus 2a so minus of minus I am going to write plus and e power 0. So you know that e power 0 is equivalent to 1 and e power minus infinity is equivalent to 0. So e power as e power e minus infinity equivalent to 0, 0 divided by minus 2a will become 0 and the remaining is e power 0 that value is equivalent to 1 here. You got a finite energy. This is the meaning the signal is a energy signal with the energy is equivalent to 1. So now here you can you can consider like this. So here you are having uh, this 2 also this 2a also. So e power 0 uh, e power 0 divided by 2a you are having. So here also you can write that 2a. So you got 1 by 2a right. So 1 by 2a also that is a finite value. So you can say so this is a energy signal with energy 1 by 2a joules. So now when you got finite energy then your signal is said to be a finite uh, energy signal. And whenever uh, your signal is found to be energy signal, the power associated with uh, must be 0, equivalent to 0. So now, how you can uh, calculate that power? So no need to calculate the power when a signal is identified as energy. Definitely, power you can say that is equivalent to 0. Power is equivalent to 0. Why? Because for example, if you want to calculate power, so what is the um, difference between power and energy equation? Only you need to include 1 by t here. So here you need to include 1 by t. So for example, if you included 1 by t here, I am just marking with reading. So if you want to make it as power, so you need to make this equation to change like this limit t tending to infinity 1 by 2t minus t2t x square of t dt like this you need to write and this is equivalent to every time we need to multiply 1 by 2t so here also 1 by 2t will come so here also 1 by 2t will come so if you substituted your t tending to infinity so here here also you are having 1 by 2t so if you substituted t tending to infinity in place of 1 by 2t if you substituted infinity then you are going to get 1 by infinity. So 1 by infinity value you know that is equivalent to 0. So 0 into anything you are going to get 0 only. So that is why whenever I got finite energy there itself I mentioned power equal to 0. If you do not know that theory also if you calculated with equation also you are getting power is equal to 0 that is why I given no need to calculate the power when a signal is calculated as energy signal. When a signal is said to be energy signal, so no need to calculate power then directly we can make the power of that particular energy signal as 0. So now all e power a t u of t natured signals or energy signals with energy 1 by 2 a joules. Now for example, if, you, if anyone asked you about n e power minus 10 t u of t. This is energy signal or power signal. If energy signal, what is the energy? If that is power signal, what is the power? So, you just consider this like a basic one. You just uh, consider like a gate shortcut. So, a signal is given in the manner e power minus a t u of t. Definitely that is a 
energy signal the energy associated with that is equivalent to 1 by 2a in a place you are having 10 I am just substituting 10 you are going to get 20 1 by 20 joules will be the energy of that particular exponential e power minus 20 u of t like this you need to calculate the energy and power of exponential signal.